very good night at the hospital, and it's possible that she'll be uh, returning to Edgewood uh, today. I don't know that definitely yet, but um, mm -hmm. it's looking good. Okay, well, good. Any other prayer concerns you have today? Yes. I'd like prayers for a family member um, dealing with mental illness and mental health. Yes. Yes, I like prayers for five-year-old neighbor of our daughter's who is facing a kidney transplant in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Sister, for the first time in three months, her cancer cells are below 20%. Oh, yes. Yep, she's kept the faith and kept doing her treatments and mm -hmm. it paid off. Right? Okay, anybody else? Let's go to the Lord in prayer then. Let us pray. Your action in history reaches its climax at Easter, O oh God. You show that life abundantly is what you offer, and that it is all that you will tolerate. At Easter, you make transparent your urgency for life and its capacity to conquer death. You show that you are in charge, and that even the sin of humanity is not threatening to you. You are Lord of Lords, Sovereign of Sovereigns. Each and every day, hallelujah, is the way we shout your name. You are who you are. You are who you, who you will be. You are in charge of us and of history and of the great powers. In your activity, we know you. And then teach each other, each one of us, O oh God, how to be active on your behalf. We thank you for the life achieved in the resurrection. We praise you. We praise the resurrected one, our Savior, Christ Jesus. We also pray for the world around us. Many struggles, many dealing with illness still, those workers are overtired. Be with the leaders as they work to bring things about, as they try to keep peace in the world around us. We pay, pray for um, India that's had so many cases and deaths. 400,000 new cases in one day. Hearing the terrible things on the news that the people don't know what to do and they are, for cremation, they're taking care of their relatives in the streets. Comfort them, comfort all those who have lost loved ones, comfort them, those that are sick, be with each and every one of them as your child. We pray for other things around the world, for peace, for understanding, for dealing with uh, people with mental illness, the difficulties there, and the, to get the help they need, and for chemical uh, issues and addictions, and their illnesses, Lord, they need your healing presence. We thank you for good surgeries for Louise and Sarah, that Kayla's levels are going down and Mona's getting her treatments and Carol in the hospital too. For a five-year-old needing a kidney transplant and how difficult that is for the parents, I'm sure, and family. Be with those that are caring for them. Be with others in our hearts and minds that need your care, Lord. Be with the others in our living, assisted living communities, Carol and Jack, Carol and George. Um, others around the world need your care. Be with people to be more loving and caring and get hatred and prejudice out of our minds. We know that you are a loving God and you want each of us to love one another. So now we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Lord, our Father, Lord, 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 Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
generations, your people hungered for bread of freedom. From them you raised up Jesus, your son, the living bread, in whom ancient hungers are satisfied. He healed the sick, though he himself would suffer. He offered life to sinners, though death would hunt him down. But with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms and surrendered his spirit. In the night before he met with his death, Jesus came to the table with those he loved and took bread and praised you, the God of creation. He broke the bread among the disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat. This is my body given for you. When the supper was ended, he took a cup of wine and gave it to thanks to you, God of all creation. He passed the cup among his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of the new covenant sealed in my blood for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Gracious God, as we offer you our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we commemorate Jesus, your Son. Death could not bind him, for you raised him up in the spirit of holiness and exalted him as Lord of all creation. We thank you and praise you for this, O Lord our God. When our Lord was at the table with the disciples, he broke the bread and said, This is my body given for you. Take and eat in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup. He said, This cup is the new covenant, sealed in my blood. Drink ye all that in remembrance of me, for these are the gifts of God for the people. God, you have given us a share in the one bread and the one cup and made us one with Christ. Help us to bring your salvation and joy to all the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our closing song is on eagle's wings and ours is the walkers. <laughs> Restore for yourself. When Total Restore is available to the public, my distributor tells me it will retail for around $69.95. A great price when you consider how expensive.
people ready to be sure that everyone is fed. <laughs> 